Hello friends, it's good to be able to greet you during this time of Lent, a time when we prepare our hearts before God for the forthcoming Easter time and the consideration again of the sacrifice that Christ made on our behalf and the fullness of life that he offers. In Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7, just one verse for today, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Well, who was this verse for? It was addressed in Old Testament times by the major prophet Isaiah to the people of Israel who had been taken captive. They were in captivity by the Babylonians in a strange land and some of them had forsaken God and they were turning away from God and becoming a bit too comfortable in their own ways of living. And so Isaiah really was calling them back to commit their lives again to God. Well, God's word is for us today. And it's so important that we learn to apply these words for us and to our lives. Wickedness or crookedness? Do we consider ourselves wicked? Well, sometimes we are. It's about our actions. Sometimes we need to consider how we do things. The idols or the obsessions or the habits or the hobbies that sometimes get in the road of service for Christ and we forsake God. Well, then we are wicked. And when we ignore suffering humanity or when we hurt other people and don't even care about it, then we have turned our back on the ways of God and so we could be described as wicked or crooked in our ways. What about our thoughts? Are we unrighteous? Do we measure up to the standard that Christ set for us? Not always. So sometimes we are unrighteous in our thoughts. What about the times when we have an unforgiving spirit or the times when our hearts are hard towards other people and to God? when we allow bitterness to creep into our lives because of the horrible things that have happened to us. And then to top all of that, we say that we're Christian. And yet our attitude is anything but the attitude of Christ. And so we need to live how Jesus wants us to live so that we can become righteous before him. We need to turn around, turn away from our sin, Look into God's face and find in him all the fullness of life as promised. Well, I love this promise of abundant pardon. My grandson is almost two and when he demands something that he can't have right now and he can't understand why he can't have it right now, we try to use the when and the then rule. When you have had your breakfast and get dressed, then we can go to the park. Well, listen to the when and the then in this verse in Isaiah chapter 55. When we turn away from our sins, when we turn back fully to God, then we will know the abundant pardon of God in our lives. That's a wonderful promise. And it's for the worst of sinners. It's for all sinners. It's for all sin then God will abundantly pardon. What a wonderful promise for us today in this Lent period and our Easter celebrations. May we all experience the total forgiveness of God for our sins as we turn our back on them. And may it be that as we fully look to God in the face that we discover much more abundance, abundance points us to plenty, plenty, and even more than enough is abundant. Let's take that promise for ourselves this Easter time. And just as the, the Israelites in captivity were invited to turn back towards God, may we do the same um, in these New Testament times when we know Christ and his power and his pardon. May God abundantly bless you this Easter time.